How's it going folks? It's Nova. I've got another overview for you guys today. We're going to look at the Bronze Age Justice League of America Omnibus Volume 1. Um, this follows up directly after the second volume of Silver Age. Um, so we'll get into what it contains soon. Give you guys a little taste of the spine there. It's got, of course, the um, typical, you know, age of comic uh, design by DC, which isn't bad. I don't mind it. Um, the only thing I do not like is the what it looks like under the desk jacket. We'll get to that. So, give you guys a little breakdown there. Um, contains 77 through 113. Um, so, of course, we're going to see more of these. I can't wait. I don't have the Silver Age ones, but I just can't stand that writing, especially from DC. It was so campy. Um, give you guys the price here in the ISBN if you're interested once it focuses. Uh, 100 US, 131 Canadian. Uh, shout out to the terrible Canadian dollar. Um, but yeah, let's take the dust jacket off and we'll get into this uh, this bad boy here. So not much change, just the, the same thing that we had on the cover, just sort of embossed here. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, but let's go through this thing. Um, I, I do like the Bronze Age stuff more so than... Uh, anything Silver Age I've read. Like I mentioned, Silver Age DC was just super campy, and this has got great people writing it. So I'll give you guys a little look at the table of contents here. You can note the writers, pencilers, got a lot of Denny O'Neill. I think Dick Dillon did like all of the art on these. It's crazy. A lot of Neil Adams covers. Unknown Soldier of Victory, cool. I mean, if you look at the titles of these things, it's it's pretty awesome. Clocks in at about 900 pages once it's all said and done. It's a little forward there by um, Roy Thomas. Um, so we'll just flip through it. I haven't read this stuff, um, but you know, it's still pretty wordy. But it is Bronze Age, and I mean. Danny O'Neill is awesome. I've been loving the Brave and the Bold Bronze Age Omnibus. So I figure I can go wrong with this one. And um, if they continue this, I mean, there's going to be some great content getting printed. They got a lot of the, um, they called it the annual, this is maybe in the Silver Age, so I apologize if you guys know this, the annual um, team up between the two uh, Earths, the Justice Society and Justice League. It's really cool. A lot of cool artwork in here as well. Um, I'm sure it's still a little campy, but I doubt it's as bad as, um, you know, the Silver Age stuff, which is just completely over the top. The only Silver Age omnibus I've been able to read cover to cover without, you know, getting too uh, turned off by it is um, the Suicide Squad Silver Age omnibus, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you got your classic guys. You guys, there's a lot of Adam in here, Black Canary. Um, Got some metamorpho action, awesome. Is that... Is that Sandman? Oh my god. It is! It is! Wesley Dodd Sandman, awesome. Got some more Justice Society in here. Good old Shazam. It's great. Um, this looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to dig in. Um, as with all these books, there isn't really much for bonus content here some biographies, nothing too crazy. Um, so let's take a quick look at the binding. Let's see what we got going on here. This looks like the middle to me. So it's pretty good. Um, if you, I'm sure if you, you know, work it in a bit more, it'll look even better. Um, let's take one more look at, you know, how quickly it will stay open for you. And again, I haven't really worked this thing in too much. All right, so table of contents, we'll make it past there. Page 41, still not staying open. What page is this? 113, still not staying open. Looks like around 200 it does. I mean, if like I've always said, if you're a stickler for this thing, got some Spectre there. A lot of JSA in this one, it looks like, which is awesome. But yeah, no, um... If you're a fan of Justice League, if you've got the Silver Age ones, it's a no-brainer for you. You're going to basically own all of the Justice League of America ever printed if you keep going with this, which is amazing. These these great, like, 
good you know good value for for your dollar here um but yeah thanks for tuning in guys can't wait for volume two of this thing um if you have any questions let me know in the comments below be sure to check out our podcast four guys in a comic um you know there's links available down below as well and there's you know all of us are putting out videos at this point hope you guys are enjoying them um if you have any feedback let us know feel free to message us and you know tell us what um what you would prefer to see and whatnot anyway hope you guys enjoyed and this was uh, nova and until next time you stay classy internet